Hi, in this video we'll look at how to use a compound criteria using OR and this time we're going to be focusing on the use of two different columns. Alright, so we're going to go to your create menu option, then we go to your acquire design and uh, we're using two tables here, items and shelf. We'll go to items table here and we'll click on add and close. Okay, so we're going to add, let's say, item name item price and we're gonna look at quantity as well so let's say we wanted to find um, those items that are of a certain price or certain quantity notice we have a criteria rule here and we also have a or rule this allows us, to, allows us to use multiple columns so we can go here and uh, looking back at my items table, we notice that we have a number of items with different values. So let's say I wanted to find those items with a price of, let's say, greater than or equal to $100. And uh, let's say for the quantity, I'm going to put place this one in the OR row here. Let's say for quantity, we wanted to find all those quantity that, let's see now, um, we are looking at quantity of <clears throat> 5 or greater. So greater than or equal to, to 5. Let's run this query and notice once again we have one of these criteria has to be in the OR row for it to work. So we have them as they are. So let's see if we can get some results here. I'm going to go to under Acquired Tools, Design, and then you can either click on View or Run. And once we click on Run, we're noticing that we have a number of items in our results because the OR operator will filter and find all those prices that are either greater than 100 or they're greater than a quantity of 5. All right, so I hope this actually helps you, and if it does, remember to, to like this video and to leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.